Welcome to Mizan, the game of living with balance. The aim of the game is to reach your dream career by building and balancing four different life aspects. Legacy, knowledge, wellness, and gold. Take turns in making important life decisions and battling random life events to be the first to reach your career goal and win the game. Let's get started. Separate the contents of the box. Each player should have their own aspect tracker and a single token for each of the four aspects. The cards should be sorted into their correct piles and any additional tokens should be put to the side. One at a time, each player draws three career goal cards. Each career goal has a unique set of requirements and bonuses. Once the player has chosen their dream goal, they return the other two cards to the bottom of the pile. Once each player has their career goal card, the pile can be returned to the box. Each player then draws five cards, one from each of the aspect piles, then an additional card from a pile of their choosing. The oldest player is the first to get a turn, and it goes clockwise from there. There are five phases that you play through in order on your turn. Reveal an opportunity card. Begin by drawing an opportunity card and revealing it to everyone. Opportunity cards can be one of three types, events, property, or community projects. Event cards are random chance cards that can be good or bad. The effects of these cards take place immediately. Take this one, for example. You have the choice to find the owner or keep the wallet for yourself. Each choice has its own effects. Once the effects are applied, discard the event card. Property cards are big spending cards that can provide passive income each turn. When drawn, you may choose to purchase it with your gold, pay for it with a loan, or pass it on. If you want to buy the property on a loan, pay the first five gold as a securing deposit. The effect of the property does not apply until it has been fully paid off. We'll get back to this in a little bit. If you do not want to purchase the property, the opportunity goes to the next player after you, and so on. If no one wants it, the property card is discarded. Community project cards are an opportunity for all players to work together. In turn order, starting from the player who drew the card, each player chooses whether or not to discard two cards from their hand. After a full cycle, if half the players or more have discarded cards, the community project is successful, and each of those players receive the effects. However, if less than half the players have not chosen to discard a card from their hand, the community project fails, and those who have discarded their cards do not get anything back. Players do not redraw new cards until the end of their next turn. The community project card is then discarded. Gain property income. If you have any fully purchased properties, earn one of the indicated effects. Use your two actions. Each turn, you can decide to perform two actions in any combination from the three action types. Play. If you pay the cost and fulfill any requirements, you can play a card from your hand. Reveal the card and apply the effects. Except for job cards, played cards are discarded after their effects take place. Swap. Discard any number of cards from your hand and redraw the same number from the four aspect piles in any combination. Work. If you have an active job card, you may spend an action to work and earn the effect of the card. If, at the end of this phase, you did not perform a work action on any active job cards, add a token to that particular job card. Once there are three tokens on any one job card, discard it immediately. Pay loans or fees. In this phase, you can choose to make payments towards any loans you have outstanding. Payments are made in lots of five gold, with a token added to the cards to record the number of payments. Once a loan is paid for, remove the tokens. At the end of this phase, pay one gold in fees per outstanding loan. If you cannot pay the fee, you lose the property, as well as any payments on it. Draw cards. End your turn by drawing cards until you have five in your hand. Draw from any of the four aspect piles and in any combination. Then, it's the next player's turn. Continue this cycle until someone reaches their aspect requirements for their career goal. The first player to do this gets their dream job and wins the game. 
Continue the game to see who the runner-ups are. Ready to begin the journey to your dream job? Good luck!